who is the president of Nigeria Union of Journalists. Uh, thank you for joining us today. And, uh, well, looking at this matter, uh, I'm sure you must have also heard and read perhaps a lot of commentary and reports published about Nigeria on that list of press freedom. What did you make of some of those reports when you read them? Well, good morning. Uh, I think uh, we've read through some of the reports about the issue of press freedom in Nigeria. And I'm sure you remember vividly that uh, we just celebrated the World Press Freedom Day. And we want to believe that that was an opportunity for us to reflect and to remember those who have uh, really struggled, those who have lost their life in the cost of uh, discharging their social responsibility. And it was an opportunity for us to analyze the level of the press freedom and the freedom of expression, not only in Nigeria, but all over the world. And these issues which you have made mention, the two conflicting reports, one, the UN report rating Nigeria as one of the countries that has really tolerated the issue of press freedom, one of the best in achieving that, while the CPJ felt that uh, we were second to Somali. And while we were trying to analyze the report of the CPJ, by virtue of my position as uh, president of uh, probably WAJA, uh, recently uh, Federation of African Journalists, I want to say that uh, I had the privilege of uh, traveling to quite a number of countries, especially here in Africa. And I always emphasize that uh, what uh, we used to accommodate here in terms of content in some of our pages in the newspapers and indeed some of our analysis in the broadcast media cannot be accommodated in quite a number of countries in Africa. So I strongly believe that uh, we have gone so far in terms of uh, achieving press freedom and freedom of expression here in Nigeria. And I believe that uh, that is why we are witnessing quite a number of proliferation of various media organizations, both in the print and the, and the broadcast. The atmosphere and the environment uh, has been very uh, conducive as far as I'm concerned, and to some extent there is tolerance uh, in terms of uh, what is either being published or being broadcast in, in the broadcast media. Is that to suggest that the CPJ report has no bearing or impact whatsoever on press freedom or freedom of expression in Nigeria? Yeah, honestly, when I read the report, I tried as much as possible to, to analyze it. And, and I felt that actually I faulted it because there is no how you can compare Nigeria.